Welcome YouTubers to another video. So I have a pretty good update for you guys uh, that I think some people will be happy with, some may not. Uh, but I did want to go over quickly what I still have for sale in case anyone is interested. Uh, not much is for sale as of right now. I've kind of sold the majority of everything. Uh, I'm, you know, trying to boil my collection down to. But I did want to give you guys an update. Uh, so... No, I still am uh, selling my Achilles. Uh, I don't have to sell this. You know, I sold all my old school sideshow, but I still love this Achilles. It kind of works pretty good right there, to be honest. But if anyone wants them, I will sell them. Uh, I did sell that Bruce Lee just here where, so he's going to go to a new home. He just, the person's already paid me, just doesn't want me to ship for a few weeks. So, but uh, Bruce Lee is sold. Uh, nobody wanted to buy these, so I'm just going to keep them. If anyone does want to buy them, though, for 2K shipped, let me know. Uh, these two are sold, and we just shipped off Jack Sparrow, so Jack is officially out of here. Now, I am supposed to be getting Infinity Studios Wonder Woman bust in the next few days. Uh, hopefully, it comes in. There's no problems. I freaking love it. If I do get it, and everything is as planned, more than likely, I'll be selling my Queen Studios Wonder Woman bust. Simply for money and space. So, I would like to get a buyer ready. I won't have you pay until I get Infinity Shoes Wonder Woman. Am I confirmed I am selling this? But pending everything goes according to plan, I will sell this for $4,000 shipped. Uh, and that, and then there's one additional thing which is part of this uh, statue display update. So I'm really trying to solidify my Predator and Alien wall to be all AVP, basically from right here. To the right, I don't want any other statues outside of Alien vs. Predator. And so, you know, I've come to the conclusion, as of right now, this is the best setup I can possibly do. I've tried multiple variations. I've tried putting Wolf Bust and Predator over here and Berserker in multiple spots. At the end of the day, Berserker Predator has to go down low. I simply cannot do him up top, and I don't want to do a statue mid-room shelf. So Berserker has to go there. So... And then XM Predator is going to go there. Prime 1 Alien Warrior Deluxe will go there. And his extra egg is going to replace the Sideshow egg there. Right here is going to be Prime 1 Jungle Hunter Predator. Mast holding the severed head with the closed mouth bust next to him. The additional heads are going to go inside that glass shelf. And I'll probably move the wolf head just in between wolf and XM Alien and do the three additional Prime 1 heads underneath. Right here is going to be big chat busts displayed at a side angle. Uh, I think there's multiple advantages to displaying it on the side. When it's in the front, you don't really see the side, the back detail. I think for this particular bust, it'll best be displayed and have most presence angled this way. It's only 20 inches deep when it's to the side. And then it's 36 inches wide, 36 inches tall, which is the exact same size as this shelf. So it's actually going to fit this shelf perfectly. It's going to have a ton of presence because it's going to be, a, you know, slightly taller than that big chap one third. And it's going to fill up this entire shelf. You know, an XM Predator will stay as that. I could probably add a prop or two if I wanted to in this display. Uh, but I'm going to show you a quick Photoshop as well. Now, above big chap bust, I thought, should I potentially throw my alien poster? Problem is big chap would be blocking the lower half of the poster, which I don't want to do. I thought of potentially Prime 1 Alien's little wall hanger butt, or the Queen Alien but neither look good in Photoshop. But this is what I did come up with. Uh, the Wayland sign. So in the movie, this is on the spaceship. And so I found someone who did the exact same thing with the three dots right here. And so it's 16 by 9. I actually overscaled it in this uh, picture. It's smaller than that. It's about the size of half the shelf. So it's going to be smaller, but that's kind of the idea of what I'm getting at. You know, Alien Warrior there. Prime 1 Jungle Hunter there. You know, I didn't put the one-third bus, but the one-third bus would just go in between these two. And I may even just put the big chat bust in the back. You know, have like both of them. Uh, but... This will work best because it's all three Prime 1 statues. I don't want these two next to each other. It has to be some sort of separator. So having him there, and he's a shorter statue, I think it will work better. And the two biggest one-thirds right there 
with the massive bust, which as you can see, you know, it's going to look glorious there and I'll be able to see all that back and side detail. And when I'm standing over here, I can still see the front. Plus I have a front angle, a big chap there anyways. And my other bust is slight angled. I feel like with alien bust, you do want to have a slight angle or to the side, like all the cool props busts were displayed to the side actually. You know, because then you can see all that amazing detail back there. So, you know, if I put big chat bust here, I wouldn't see any of this. So I've come to the conclusion this is the best. It also does make everything, you know, like bust, bust on each end with two, four, six, one thirds. Zero posters on this actual wall. It's just props and like displays. Then underneath you have two bust, like life-size displays, and then two one-fourth-ish, one-third-ish you know, because that Alien Warrior, we don't know truly what scale it is, but based off picks and size, I would say it's roughly one third and a half, like almost one fourth, but not almost one third. It's in between, sort of like XM Predator and Berserker Predator. So this is what I've come up with. So I think this is the best display I can get. Now, the things I could potentially change in the future, if I ever wanted to update the, the Fugitive Bust to a jungle hunter bust or something. Thing is, I do want to have one masked bust and one unmasked bust for Predator. So I really do like the Prime one for multiple reasons. I love the armor. I love the fact I have both arms with weapons. I would, you know, change out my wolf bust for a better wolf bust if it fit there and it looked better. But I'm also looking into just getting that professionally repainted. So I'll probably just get it repainted and call it a day. Because it still looks awesome. And the way I prop it up, it makes it 30 inches tall. So it's still actually... Pretty big size presence bust. So by doing all of this, it does mean I no longer have space for Legend Lord of Darkness. And I've thought, can I put it anywhere else in my main horror and monsters display? I do not, and I refuse to lower Ghostface and Leatherface. Even though they technically can go down low, I refuse to do that. I want them up top. And, you know, I know I can potentially put gremlins right there if I moved Game of Thrones to potentially over there and do Red Sonia and Vampirella, bottom right corner, gremlins here. But, you know, the, technically you could put none down low, but then, you know, there, there's just no space. So I've come to the conclusion, Lord of Darkness has two options. One, I put a shelf right here and he goes right there, which isn't a very good spot at all. Or we sell him. And I'm thinking selling him is the best option, unfortunately. Now, this statue is a... He's a tall one. Look at him. He is over three feet tall. He's one-third scale. Limited to 150. I got number 130 of 150. He ships in two boxes. There is no damage or anything to the statue. I'll also include that poster for free. But I am... You know, I've looked at prices all over eBay. He generally goes for $3,000 to $3,500. You know, it looks like the last one sold around that. So I'm going to be pricing him, of course, a lot cheaper. Uh, but I would like to get $2,150. The $150 is for shipping. So you're basically paying $2,000 plus shipping. Like I said, it does ship in two boxes. And that is for the U.S. If you're in Canada... We're going to need to add another 100 bucks on top of that because Canada is usually about double the cost in shipping. Europe will probably need to be about 2,500 shipped. Uh, so, yeah, that Europe's triple to four times the cost in the, versus the U.S. So, yeah, we are going to be selling Lord of Darkness. I know a few people have inquired in the past. I don't remember who. But we're going to go ahead and sell him. Even though I love this statue, it's incredibly cool. It's huge. And very good detail and overall look. It just unfortunately isn't fitting my theme and collection anymore based off what I'm wanting to do. You know, because I know I can fit it there, technically do big chat bust there, big chat there. But the whole display just is thrown off the fact that we have a non-AVP character there. Plus, I have determined I want to display clean to the side. And, you know, even having it to the side from this angle, I'll be able to see it forward anyways. So I think that is the best option for Queen's Alien Bus is having it to the side on that display. So, yeah, that is basically what I wanted to go over with you guys. Now, if anyone is interested in any of the statues I mentioned, uh, message me, Sean Sanders on Facebook. You can join my Facebook group, Flankster Statue Collectors. I'm Madman. Flankster117 on Instagram. Or just email me, flankster117 at gmail.com. Now, like I said, with Wonder Woman bust, 
you know, I can line you up as a buyer, but I will not ship her or even accept payment until I get Infinity Studios Wonder Home Bus and I've done my videos and comparisons and I've insured, you know, that is the route I want to take. But at the end of the day, I will only have space and money for one. So, uh, you know, and so 99% chance she will be gone because I have DHL tracking for Wonder Woman Infinity Bus. She's supposed to arrive Monday and or Tuesday. But, you know, until she is in the collection, you know, I will not sell that Wonder Woman bus. But if anyone wants to get lined up as a buyer, 4K shift US. It's a massive box, too. It probably costs $350 to ship. But that is it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. If you're looking to buy statues, please use the links below as well. Have a great day.